In this lesson we're going to look at the hybrid orbitals um, that occur in methane in CH4, sometimes known as natural gas. So what we're going to do is see if we can explain this idea of equivalent energy bonding um, for the four hydrogens that surround that central atom, that surround that carbon. So if you want to go in and break one of those carbon-hydrogen bonds, it should take the same amount of energy no matter which hydrogen you want to go in there and try and break. So let's take a look at the hybrid orbitals um, that have to exist to explain equivalent energy bonding. Because if you look at where the four valence electrons are for that carbon atom, on an isolated carbon atom right now they do not have the same energy. Those four valence electrons, two of them are in the outermost 2s and the other two are in the outermost 2p and they do not have the same equivalent energy um, in terms of their valence electrons. So we're going to have to allow these outermost orbitals to hybridize, to blend together, to mix together. So what we're about to see is an isolated carbon atom and we're going to highlight where the four valence electrons are for this carbon atom. So let's go ahead and take a look at those four valence electrons and where they're located in their atomic orbitals. Two of the electrons are located in the outermost 2s and two of the electrons are located in the 2p. You notice we are following Hund's rule where we're going to place one electron in each of the orbitals with the same equivalent energy. So we have three orbitals that we could have chosen to put the electrons in for the 2p and we place one in each. But if you notice here, what we're highlighting is that those four electrons do not have the same energy. And we really do need to account for equivalent energy bonding in methane. That is, all four carbon-hydrogen bonds uh, should be equivalent in energy. And if you look at an isolated carbon atom here, it really doesn't describe that idea of equivalent energy bonding. So what we can do is we can mix these atomic orbitals, we can hybridize them, then we can blend them. What you need to keep in mind is however many atomic orbitals you put in that's how many hybrid orbitals you're going to get out. So we need four equivalent energy bonds. So we're going to put in four atomic orbitals and then we're going to get four hybrid orbitals out. So let's mix these four atomic orbitals. Let's mix the sphere and let's mix these three dumbbells and now we'll make some hybrids to explain this idea of equivalent energy bonding. So we're going to mix them and upon mixing we now have four equivalent hybrids we now have placed an electron in each, and we're going to call these sp3 hybrids. If you recall, the way you name hybrids is based on the atomic orbitals that went into making them. We had to put in the sphere, and we had to put in all three of the dumbbells, one on the x, one on the y, and the one on the z. Uh, so once again, you name them based on what goes into making them. In this case, um, we had to put in four atomic orbitals to get these four hybrid orbitals. What I'd really like for you to observe right now is that they all have the same energy. So let's actually take a look um, at an isolated carbon atom. Let's animate this and show the valence electrons before hybridization and then how the hybridization has to occur for those surrounding hydrogen atoms to come in. So here's our isolated carbon atom. Um, no bonding is occurring right now. Um, we're going to have those hydrogens, those surrounding atoms, start approaching. And notice right now the valence electrons, they don't have the same energy. Those electrons in that 2s orbital are a little bit closer to that nucleus uh, than the ones in the 2p orbitals. So we want to um, hybridize these four atomic orbitals. So let's allow those hydrogen atoms to start approaching. As these four hydrogen atoms start approaching, that central atom is going to hybridize, it's going to blend, it's going to mix together um, those atomic orbitals and form those hybrids. And notice now we have four hybrid orbitals, they're all sp3, and you notice that there's an electron in each. So we're now ready for equivalent energy bonding. So let's go ahead and bring those hydrogens on in. And let's overlap those hydrogens. And now you can see the bonding that occurs in methane and this idea of equivalent energy bonding that it takes hybrids, blended atomic orbitals, these outermost orbitals um, need to be blended, mixed together so that the electrons in this valence all have the same energy now.